Hi guys, it's Morton here and today I'm gonna show you a forest game and I wanna show you the way of how I play an offensive warrior there what my job is and how you can contribute to your team and be very effective so here you can see my character it looks pretty nice that's what you get when you win PvP tournaments you keep getting those gold chests and get some cool stuff a nice sword a nice armor but yeah um, first I'm gonna tell you some strategies um, I released a video with a forest map guide rec um, one month ago or something and um, there you find the basics of this map but now I'm gonna be a bit more warrior specific and I'm running the great sword build with one with axe and shield and the strength of this build is the mobility and the burst this weekend we were playing like 50 tournaments or something and in every single forest map I was able to get the last hit on a boss. That's because the burst of frenzy is extreme. Like you can use Bulls Charge or your 5 ability to connect to a boss and just ninja kills. Also you're pretty strong at killing the bosses very fast. I'm not sure if you can still solo them. I was able to solo them at around every second time. But when I had bad crit luck or received a lot of damage I wasn't able to. So the best you wanna do is you wanna go on the forest mobs, the NPCs together with a teammate or you wanna steal them from your enemy teams. Apart from that, like after there's always a time between the boss spawns and then you wanna keep running around and help your team wherever it's needed. You can go for mine, go for the mid, wherever your help is needed. You should always be there and help your team. Communication is key for this and yeah, you need to have Skype or something, get on your teammate, talk to them and always be aware where you should be going. So yeah, here you can see my gear again. Looks pretty nice in blue as well. We are on the blue team. And yeah, another important thing in this map is um, you need to defend points. Like you don't wanna leave a point undefended for a longer period of time. So with this bag you are also pretty na good at 1v1 situations, especially if you have a coolness up. And I think I encounter a few 1v1 situations in this game and yeah, we'll see. Unfortunately this was a 4 vs 5 against this team. I'm sure I'll find out the guild name later. But Xef or Mesmer disconnected so it was actually a 4 vs 5 and that makes things harder, right? But I think with the right team play and coordination and strategies you can overcome this and still win. So just because it's 4 vs 5, don't give up yet, try and see what you can make out of the game. And yeah, finally it starts, too much talking here. <laughs> but at least you can get a nice look on my warrior. Um, what I also didn't mention yet um, about the communication, as a great sword warrior you depend on your burst. Like you want to deliver your burst if it's up. So what we are doing is, for example, if teammates see that the target touches twice and can't dodge anymore, they announce it because then I can use Eviscerate. He can't dodge it because you can only dodge twice and you can only use dodge if your endurance bar is at least half. And the second thing is people announce whenever their opponents use their stun breaker. Because for setting up Frenzy and 100 Blades, you need to get your Pulse Charge and off. And that's why people tell me, hey, this Mesmer used the Stun Breaker, or hey, this Warrior used um, Balance Dance, you can burst him in 5 seconds. So with this spec, like, it often seems like or people think it's a gimmick spec, but with the right coordination you can actually manage to pull your burst off. It's not easy if people are prepared for it, but it, you can pull it off if you work well together with your team. Okay, so usually we send three people to the opponent's base and get mine and also kill the boss, but in this case we were only able to send Teld on me because we were only four players. There was a warrior here, so we take him out quickly. In this game, because it was a four versus five, we didn't go for Swani first, like there was four opponents and we didn't want to engage them because they would have probably killed us. So if it's four versus five we need to play a bit different, but you can still get it work. Alright, so I kill this warrior here. 
and then I think uh, yeah we send Teldo to the mid to help there and I'll stand here and defend the point. So if you get the task of defending a point you need to be strong in 1v1 situations. Um, a good way to practice 1v1s is to enter games with your teammates, for example new games, um, hot join BVP and hope that no one else is going to join. And then you just duel your friends and try to become better at dueling and 1v1 situations. I'm gonna fo fast forward this a bit until I get my first 1v1 encounter. And there we go. It's this ranger. The opponents we were fighting were from the team OG by the way. And rangers can be pretty tough in 1v1. So here I'm actually landing my burst. And when the burst lands and the viscerate lands then you're pretty much won. So this ranger probably didn't have his cooldown up or no stun breaker and I was able to end this fight pretty quickly. Then uh, more players come and I got Teldos to support. I saw the other players coming, I told him, hey help me out here. And yeah, this Mesmer is already down for some reason. And I just wait now until the next guy comes. The game looks pretty good for us, despite having one player less. We got all three bases right now. And yeah, there is a Mesma. He's thinking about if he should engage me, but Mesmas have a hard time against Warriors in 1v1. So he decides not to, and instead they send an engineer to engage me. Because engineers can be pretty annoying to warriors, they can avoid my burst, they can immobilize me, and I think that was a good decision on their side. So I'm up against this engineer. I used my burst, but he avoided it, he CC'd me, so this is going to be a tougher fight. And yeah, I'm trying to stay in range, use my greatsword, auto attacks, swap the eviscerate for the burst, like here with 5k. Then I'm also using shield block whenever it's needed to avoid some damage and shield bash into 100 blades which didn't work here because he managed to get away in the same time. But yeah, it's a long fight against his engineer and I actually was asking to help so Rayon came in and helped me secure the kill. kill. Then here come two more people, one of them is the ranger. So what I use, I use my elite to get a bit of run speed, to get away. So now I have to get away because they are trying to kill me. I'm using my mobility to get away. I give up the point but there would have been no point to stay there and give them an additional kill to me. Like they would have got the point anyways, I was at 2k HP. So now I just waited for the regeneration and now I'm going back. Um, Rayon is already here, he's just about to die. So. What I'm doing, first I'm taking down this warrior, he wasn't expecting the burst because I came from behind. Then I go straight on the ranger with eviscerate burst. Try to get him down as well and he dies. And yeah, then it's just about stomping them off. You see Rayon dies here. So what I do now is I need to stomp someone. So the I'm killing off the Mesma and the Illusions. Then there's a warrior coming here. And I don't have many coolants left, but I'm engaging him and what I do now is I see the warrior rest. So what I do now here is Rayon fears him while he's down and I start to stomp someone. And now you can see Rayon gets back up to life again. So I resurrected him, kill off this warrior and we're both alive again. That's how you should work together with your team, always rest each other, support each other, co coordinate every single CC ability, look out for the enemy's dodge rolls, for the enemy's stun breakers and then you can make the 100 blades build work in PvP. Here I'm up against this warrior, I just take him down quickly with my burst, everything lands and yeah, he goes down. Yeah, 
he was actually if the warrior if you down a warrior you have two opportunities so here I was actually doing a mistake um, I should have used my balance stance to avoid the knockdown or dodged it but yeah game is almost over I'm going back to the point because they captured it again killing off this engineer with the whirlwind attack into a viscerate then I'm stomping him because we only need 10 more points and as you can see here we got 5 points for the stomp and yeah then I'm also killing off this uh, mesmer and yeah we won I hope that you enjoyed this short guide about the forest map. You got some insight on how to play an offensive warrior with great sword and next shield. Um, there are other builds out there that work as well. For example, the Shout Warrior, which I also made a video of. But this is my favorite build because I like to play offensive, I like to do high damage, and I like to be mobile and just run from one point to the other point support and be able to deal that burst damage whenever it's needed so yeah here i'm going to show you my equipment again because people love to see characters with good pvp gear and the best thing about gearing guild wars 2 is you don't need to level up you don't need to farm something all it needs you need to be good at pvp and you need to have a good team play structure pvp and eventually you look like this and yeah that was the video I'll have more videos coming up. Um, thanks for watching and I would also like it if you check our guild's website teamparadigm.net. Um, we have some forums there, discuss with people. It's just nice to see the PvP community grow. So, bye guys.